Let's talk about circular motion by starting with Newton's first law of motion. Do you remember the part of the law talked about objects in motion tend to stay in motion in a straight line at the same speed until acted upon by an outside force? That's right. This hoop applied the outside force to make the ball go in a circle. It was actually an inward pushing force or centripetal force that made the ball go in a circle. Now I have another question for you. What's going to happen to the direction of this ball when it leaves the hoop? Okay? I have four choices for you. All right? So, one, it could go in its continued direction, right? And continue all the way around and go around the hoop again. Two, maybe it'll go off and curve just a little bit, but still go outward. So, we'll put that cone there. Third choice is that once it leaves the hoop, it goes in a straight line. Maybe comes out this way. That's about pretty straight. Or fourth choice, it does another curve, but curves out this direction. Okay? Make your prediction. You ready? You see that? It took out the one in the straight line. What's up with that? Well, the instant it left the hoop, it no longer had a centripetal force making it go in a circle, right? So what happens? Newton's first law and inertia take over, and it continues in its straight line motion. In fact, we even say it's a tangent line motion to the circle, which is a straight line straight from this point, right? That centripetal force. To safely negotiate any curve, drivers should be aware of the crucial effects of Newton's first law and centripetal force, particularly if the roads are icy. An especially dangerous situation is riding in the beds of pickup trucks. Pickup truck beds are designed to carry cargo, not people or pets, that can easily be ejected during sharp turns.